Okay, so we're going to take a look at reviewing the rapid games that we played. So these are longer games, rapid games. So there's more time to think, so you can find better moves, better than the blitzy type quick moves. So you can expect, well, I can expect to see hopefully better performance in the rapid play area. So I would probably bring the percentage that we have for the blitz, which is like 75% where there could be errors from our side or the opponent hasn't taken advantage of any weaknesses that we've shown. Um, so that 75% we're trying to get down, um, especially for the quicker, quicker games. But with these recent rapid ones that we've done from March through to... Um, uh, now, there's been one, one loss. We've had 26 games, which isn't that much, but um, we're looking at the quality of the games. It's not like a speed run, like we've said. So, yes, um, excuse me. Yeah, we, we have had one loss. And we're going to just look at, like we did with the Blitz thing, I mean, we ended up looking at about 10 so I'm not looking to look, go through the whole lot of the 26. So as you can see, uh, with one loss in there, there's no draws in there either. Um, that's a pretty good percentage performance, um, in my eyes anyway. So we can bring down the level to maybe 65% where the errors are potentially our own, but the opponent hasn't taken advantage inaccuracies being put in there not so good maneuvers being delivered but the opponent again not really taking advantage of any bad positions that we may have so that's where we're going to analyze these 10 games and just to see what sort of pattern is forming uh, for the rapid play so we'll jump in all right and we go to analyze And we're good to go. All right, so we played as white in this particular game. And like I said, not going to labor on them, but if there's certain points that are going to be picked up, you know, the gauge bars dropping high or low, then we'll have a look at that, see if we can improve um, or challenge the decisions from the computer. So just blasting through taking the pawn with the queen, capturing their queen, so you're getting a bit more material there. So it's plus one at the moment. Castle, they brought the bishop in line, yeah, so that's a big massive no. Okay, so it's taking advantage of those weaknesses. So that's pretty straightforward, that particular game there. Uh, work the pieces together and established established awareness of the opponent's weaknesses that they were giving to us and took advantage of that. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. So we click back and here, like we said, we're just going to fly through them. We don't need to labor unless, of course, there's a point that jumps out to us. Okay, so playing as black and attacking the bishop, capturing, small piece attacking. So it's looking from the outset that we've got an advantage and uh, again, just giving up the queen for apparently no reason whatsoever. Okay, so very special game. So that's two kind of special games that were played first two games <laughs> in this rapid. And let's get to the analysis. All right, so playing as white in this game. So taking the center, grabbing, grabbing. No issues there as far as I can see. All simplified, pawn attacking. Okay. So they're looking a little bit better than the previous two. Bishops attacking the queen, but then they're attacking our queen. Yeah, so it's a tit for tat type thing. So we can take the bishop because it's got no protection on. 
and the queen's not going to be taking the bishop so we've grabbed a bit of material there we're up a minor piece putting pressure onto their queen and they've had, they've given up the rook and we're just improving our position and materially that's gonna be too much yep okay great stuff so no issues there and did we just do that one yes we just did that one and let's have a look at this one okay this might give us something let's see so playing as black all right so push through the center so what was the error or was there an error was it just that the opponent was playing genius moves let's see attacking the bishop Oh, we've given up the space for them to attack our rook. I don't think we took advantage of that. Yeah, we brought the knight across. I don't think we should have done that. Yeah, queen g5, it's saying. Attacking their pawn and their rook. Yeah, a little bit more proactive. I'm, I was panicking, thinking, oh, I'm losing my rook now. What is going on? But all we need to do is bring the queen out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if we brought the queen out, then they take. Oh, let's do it. Brought the queen out, then they take. It's saying take here because we're going to get the rook. Where does the bishop go anyway? Does the knight try and get out? What's it to say? It's saying queen e2. So I've given up the rook. Yeah, so there was something better. Yeah. Yeah, got a little bit flustered with that situation, didn't we? But it uh, wasn't warranted because their position isn't any good, but we gave them the good position by bringing the knight here. Yeah, okay, so it looks like we carried on. And uh, we're getting the rook in the corner. Knight comes up, so it looks like we, for a brief moment, we kind of clawed it back. And it looks like it's all over. And what did we miss? Knight takes g2. Check on the king. Doesn't look like much though, does it? Moves the king. Bishop h3. Ooh, nice one. Ah, right, yeah, my, I think my thought process was on about getting the queen back out or something and trying to get these here. Ah, okay. So I brought the bishop through looking for an x-ray onto their queen, trying to be arty, but also wanting to get the rook out because it's not in it's not in the game. Ah, we did go with the g2 knight taking with a check on. It looks a little bit too late to the party. Taking the queen. Ooh, nice touch, but no, no cigar, really. I think the move order was completely wrong. So we had the kind of right idea about attacking the G2, but we put too many pieces in there, trying to focus on being clever, trying to get the queen. Put the check on. Captured. So, yeah, it's got these little pawns here. My rook is not in the game. So, we take, take, double in the pawns. They've got plus two out of that situation. So, it's going to be a bit of a tall order. So, trading down, and the king's got no chance really now. It's got too many pawns on that far side, and this pass pawn is going to come flying down. 
yeah so the poor majority is going to kill us on that side so yeah i think there's a few little tiny things in this particular game which really now looking at it easily resolved yep so just coming through captured see what will what would we have done now that we know so we pushed on to the pawn don't even really like doing the pawn push personally now you know i'm just looking at him thinking why could we not just go simple you know take it nice and steady just bringing the knight out and just slowly plod away but with the attacking the pawn here having to take but it doesn't take and then we do take we're not developing another piece or anything and we're just doubling pawns so it's not really improving the position and we're giving them pieces although it's not really improved on the scoreboard with them capturing so it's equal now in terms of material so then we go on attack obviously we don't need to go on attack so that's very i think it's very simple and straightforward you could just bring the knight here but then it yeah we could just bring the knight here you know that's even better than doing the bishop attack yeah simple stuff yeah like that let's go on to the next one so that was henry And like we said, we're only going to do ten, I think, or something. We not don't want to go through them. Don't go through them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'll take us to the player that got banned. Okay. Let's go. Analyze. Playing as black. Okay. Push through the center. Grabbed, grabbed. Looking for the exchange. Looks fairly simple. Doesn't look like we've dropped down in terms of performance. So that's okay. Let's have a look. Keep going. And grabbing a nice free bishop. So position play seemed to be okay. Keeping it nice and simple. Just grabbing. So we're up a minor piece. Yeah, and that's pretty straightforward from there. Yeah, like the look of that game. Team seems to be working together quite nicely. Good focus targeting. Don't think I can grumble there. And let's go here. Analyze again. Playing as white. Let's just fly through. Um, well, instantly I'm thinking this must be one of those special games. Where they're just giving pieces up. So yeah, and they're just dancing with the bishop. So I don't think there was too many issues in this particular game. Yeah, like I said, you get some special games where they're extremely good or they're extremely kind of strange. This is one of them. But you never know if when you're gonna fall into a trap of any sort. Alright, so work the team together quite nicely again with that one. I think I'm fairly happy with that. And we're on to here. Let's analyze. I'm playing as white. Just attacking the queen. And the queen has gone. So this looks like another special game. Bringing the queen out early. So I probably don't need to look too much at this particular game. But just because you've won the queen doesn't mean you've won the game. But just off the basis of the movements that they're making now. I think we've got too much material, strengthening material, and that's pretty straightforward. Okay, I won't go any further. Do, 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 do. See this one? One, two. One, two. Yeah, let's go this one. Let's go this one. Analyze, playing as white, 
scrubbing, targeting, targeting again, teamwork, a bit of few, few queen moves there, it's slightly concerning, okay, oh, and they've left the queen under, under immense pressure, with a check on the king, so their rook can't take our queen, smallest of detail, Okay, nice one. So fairly comfortable with this. Um... Okay, so we've got two more. Don't need to labour on it. Um, we seem to be doing fairly okay with the rapid play decision making. Playing as black. Captured the knight on the rim. Putting a check on the king, making space with the rook, targeting looks okay. And this looks like it's going to be a bit devastating now. Yeah, oh sh. Yep. Yeah. Another one, definite targeting, position play. Good. And the last one for today. This will be our 10 count. Shall we just analyze? So let's go. So account closed. It's saying account closed, and it's been closed for violating the fair play. These rules keepers over there. Ah, okay. So we must have been one of the lucky ones where they weren't using it, or they weren't using it well. Whatever. So let's analyze, plain as white. Oh, some strange pawn move type situation going on. Okay. This almost probably smacks of, well, if they were closed, maybe they were sandbagging or something. Because <clears throat> that's like just giving up pieces for no reason. Yeah, it's probably that because this is a bit extreme. Excellent. So on the whole, a fairly nice performance within the rapid area. Um, I won't go through them all like we did before. You know, we're just going to do the 10 and I will then individually go through these. I won't record them just to check the sort of standard of the performance. Um, at this current time, it's basically confirming that we're working our pieces together as a team don't seem to be that major problems any major problems with inaccuracies so i'd drop it down to like 65 percent because nothing's perfect in this world and i've still got a long way to go um but 65 percent is the area that potentially um need to keep pushing putting that work in getting rid of any small inaccuracies and taking advantage of any, what's the word, any quicker advantages that that are there rather than going for the longer end game type thing. So it's all the same stuff, same for the blitzy type stuff. You know, the blitz is 75% because I'm making more errors because it's quicker, which makes sense. You know, that's the standard thing. Um, you're going to make more errors in the, in the quicker games. And the longer games, it, you're not going to make as many. So it all falls in line quite nicely. So there's nothing special or unique about any of this. But it's nice to look at your own games and, and analyse the finer detail. We've skirted over the, the surface of our in our review. But what I do then individually is I then go into more detail for my own personal um amusement, if you like, or gratification, whichever way it is, um, to look in more detail at the things that need working on. So surface level, this is the type of stuff that me as an individual looking to improve my rapid play, looking into, to improve my blitz, also looking to improve my classical type thing. These are the types of things that I will be doing on, on this particular site. Anyway, that's the whole all for now.